Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to discuss the differences between micro and macro environment. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. A business organization is an open system which interacts with its environment. It takes inputs like raw materials, capital, labor, energy, etc. from its environment and converts the same into readily usable goods and services and then gives it back to the environment. So what is business environment? We all know that a firm cannot operate in isolation. So business environment refers to the sum of all the elements and forces existing in its immediate and remote surrounding having a direct and indirect impact on its ability to achieve its objectives. Business environment can be internal environment or external environment. The internal environment of business includes all the factors existing within the firm. These factors are controllable in nature. For example, the company can alter its policies and programs. However, there are certain factors on which organization do not have any control like its strengths and weaknesses. The internal environment of the business can affect and be affected with the choices, activities and decisions of the organization. So you must be wondering what does this environment includes. So friends, internal environment of the company includes corporate culture, value system, mission and objectives, organizational structure, company's image and brand equity, human and other resources. Now talking about the external environment, it implies those individuals and groups or institutions with which the firm comes into direct contact on a frequent basis during its operations. Such factors and conditions are outside the control of the organization and affects the business performance. It is divided into two categories that is micro environment and macro environment. Now we are going to discuss each of them one by one. Micro environment. Micro environment is the immediate or operational environment. It includes those factors which have a direct influence on the work and performance of the company. It is also called as task environment or direct section environment. Micro environment comprises not only those firms that a company actually does business with, it also includes those firms and individuals that an organization could do business with in future. These individuals and groups are often regarded as stakeholders. These have stake that is financial interest in the working and performance of the enterprise. This may include competitors. Competitors are the business rivals which operate in the same industry offering the same product and services and cater to the same audience. Organization. The firm itself is an aggregate of a number of elements like shareholders, investors, employees and board of directors. Suppliers. For carrying out production process, raw material is required which is provided by the suppliers. Media Media plays an important role in the life of every company because it has the capability to make the company's product popular overnight or it can also defame them in just one go. Intermediary There are a number of individuals or firms that help the business in the promotion, selling, distribution and delivery of the product to the end buyer which are called as marketing intermediaries. Customers Customers are the target audience that is the one who purchases and consumes the product. The analysis of these factors are called cosmic analysis. Moving on to macro environment. Macro environment refers to the collection of those factors and conditions which has the capability of influencing the business positively or negatively. It is the environment within which a business organization and its micro environmental forces operate. It should be noted that the company does not interact with the macro environment directly and regularly. Also, it is known as general environment or remote environment. The forces of macro environment are less controllable than the micro environmental forces. Talking about the factors influencing macro environment. Political factors. Political factors include political conditions such as general stability, and peace in the country and the attitude of elected government towards business. Economic factors The economic stability and conditions of the region and the country as a whole has a significant bearing on the company's profitability. Socio-cultural forces Socio-cultural environment consists of those factors which are concerned with the human relationships, 
like customs, traditions, beliefs, values, morals, taste and preferences of the society at large. These factors also have a great impact on the business. Technological factors. The changes in technology affects the way of doing business and so it has a great impact on the survival and profitability of the company. Legal factors. Legal factors consist of laws, rules, regulations and policy which the company needs to adhere to to operate smoothly. Last is environmental factors. The physical conditions in the environment also have an impact on how businesses conduct themselves. Environmental factors like climate change, natural disasters and pollution levels can affect the supply chain or increase the cost of raw materials. Hence, the analysis of these factors are called pestle analysis. Talking about the difference between microenvironment and macroenvironment. Microenvironment. Microenvironment is the environment which is in immediate contact with the firm. That means the forces operating in market are close to or within the enterprise and it can affect its ability to serve the customers directly. On the other hand, macro environment is an environment which is not specific to a particular firm. That means it influences all the firms operating in the industry. It consists of all the forces which are a part of a larger environment. Next, effects. Micro environmental forces affect the specific firm only as against Macro environmental forces affect all the companies operating within the business environment. Next, controllability. Micro environmental forces are controllable by the business to a certain degree. In contrast, macro environmental forces are not controllable. Next, the study of micro environment is called cosmic analysis, wherein C stands for competitors, O stands for organization, S for suppliers, M for media. I for intermediary and C for customers. On the other hand, the study of macro environment is called pestle analysis, wherein P stands for political, E for economic, S for social, T for technological, L for legal and E for environmental. Next, impact. Micro environment has a direct and regular impact on marketing decisions of the company. In contrast, macro environment has an indirect impact on marketing decisions up to a certain extent. Next, functioning. While micro environmental factors may function in the form of strengths and weakness of the firm, as against macro environmental factors may function as opportunities and threats to the firm. So friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope the difference between micro and macro environment is clear to you now. However, if you want to study the topic further in detail, you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com. Here you can find a detailed comparison of micro and macro environment along with their definitions. Links are also provided in the description box below. So friends, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and wanna get more such useful videos, consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbhi signing off.